All right, Pikachu. Do you promise not to be very pervy? Look at me. Do you promise not to be a bit pervy this episode? Right. Moving on. Hey everybody, this is uh, Modern Retro Gamer. Uh, let's play Pokemon Yellow episode 57. Uh, in the last episode, we completely trashed a load of cue balls. And the game slowed down for a bit, but we're back now at 99% speed. Hey, you just bumped me. I'm sorry, I'm not on Facebook. Right. Weezing. Weezing, uh, poison type. Oh, what on earth could I do? CONFUSION! Tackle. <laughs> Thirteen damage. Versus one kid. Yeah, you can tell Hypnon's a fairly weak Pokemon in my arsenal. Uh, level 33 and only did about half damage. My word. I suppose Weezing must have a high special. But, uh... Woo! 12-2-2. 12-2-2, folks. And level 27. Kaboom! Right. What about you? Sure, I'll go. This is just gonna be a long sequence of episodes where it's just battles, 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 and we just win. Biker wants to fight. Biker sent out Grimer. Level 26. I believe it wants to know the meaning of losing. <laughs> Critical hit. It's super effective, man. And 501 experience. Another Grimer. Another day, another dollar. Another Pokemon, another Grimer. Yep. For a bit of a... I've actually just realized, I'm, I've am i been portraying Sparky as a bit of a um, naughty mon recently. Aquos has a relationship, and um, only recently I was looking up um, stuff on the interwebs, and um, Hypnon kidnapped a child once. Well, a Hypno kidnapped a child. I don't think it was my Hypno, because I caught him when he was a drowsy. So... It wasn't my Hypno, but it was a Hypno. Kidnapped a child and, and took him to a forest once. Wait a second, I never... S Red never sees his father. Ugh. Oh god, I'm putting numbers together. I really, really shouldn't. Right, next Hypno I see, I'm gonna call him Daddy. Uh, don't make me mad. Oh, sorry, I was completely not paying attention to you, Mr. Biker. And as soon as we pass this point, we're gonna start freewheeling. See like that? Ah! No, I don't want a freewheel. What's it called? Route 16, Celadon to Fuchsia. And there's also the this little piece of grass here. I'm actually just gonna check, is there a Pokemon I need to catch here? Right, I found out there are Pokemon I need to get here, so... We're going to do some Pokemon hunting. And we found our first Pokemon we need. A Do-Duo. Now let's catch him. And we've caught Do-Duo. New Pokedex dead will be added for Do-Duo. Twin bird Pokemon. Its short wings make flying difficult. Instead, this Pokemon runs at high speed on developed legs. Right, time for a name. Recently, I've been reading Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and, uh, Bird with Two Heads decided might as well name it after the two-headed president, Zaphod. So, there we go. And there's more, more Pokemon to find. I don't want to set off any, uh... Uh, no. Next Pokemon we came here to find is Firo. So, uh, I'm gonna catch this. And we've caught Firo over Hypnon's bleeping. New Pokedex Day will be added for Firo, the Beak Pokemon. A Pokemon that dates back many years. If it senses danger, it flies high and away. Instantly. And yet it's only 3 foot 11? It looks so much bigger. 
and actually reading Pokemon Adventures makes it look bigger. Right, try to give it a new name. Well, with a beak like that, I've decided to call it Pointy. I'm really not on good form today for nicknames. Uh, more Pokemon to find? Let's go get them. Next Pokemon to get is Ponyta, and here one is. Pause button. And we have a Ponyta. New Pokedex Day will be added for Ponyta. The Fire Horse. It's not a pony. Haha, -ha, bronies, you are no longer allowed. Capable of jumping incredibly high, its hooves and sturdy legs absorb the impact of a hard landing. Nickname for Ponyta? Yeah, I have one. And the Pokemon's name will be Blaze. Fire. So I think there's one more Pokemon we have to catch, so I'll try to find that. Oh, come on! A level 32! Oh, no. This isn't gonna end well, I suspect. Oh, thank God. Well, I resume my search for the Dodrio, which only has a 1% chance of appearing. I'm probably gonna give up. Right, I've decided to give up looking for, uh... Our little friend, however... What do you want, kiddo? I am going to continue battling. Dodrio only has a 1% chance of appearing there, so I suppose not much use in just hanging around. Now it's the cue ball with the cod piece who's bald. Uh, matchup. Level 29. Let's see what my level 28 Hypno has to say about that. It says, ouch. That's gotta hurt. And a Machoke? Right, this is new. Ooh, the muscles. It's like a matchup that just got went, just went whacked out on steroids. Machoke. Give me stuff. I don't know what it's called. Let's just say stuff. Um, I think they photoshopped, photoshopped a um, bodybuilder's body onto a matchup head. And you, there's no money in fighting kids. Then why did you challenge me, Mr. Codpiece wearing cue ball man? Ah, you want to hang out with someone other than your monkey pigs, Mankey. Mankey's rice, they smell terrible. Ugh. What do you get from pig monkeys other than... Other than a bad smell, I suspect. Like, I appreciate in my, man my Mankey. But, in general, the species is sort of lame. Primates were amazing. And there's a primate! <laughs> Basically, the Pope... I remember reading so long ago... Back when I caught um, my Mankey, I've forgotten his name now. Chopper, Chopper. When I first caught Chopper, or in that area where I caught Chopper, um, I remember reading on the internet that if you ran away from enough Mankeys, eventually they'd get so ticked off at you that one of them would become a primate and challenge you. Um, Eleven damage for critical. Yeah, primates. No wuss. It's just when you're face facing the power of the mind. Mind over matter. Burned out. Right, so we've caught some Pokemon. We've done some other stuff. Ooh. Well, we're gonna fight him in the next episode. So, uh, see you guys then.